welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we are back on the 10 part series of how to prepare your home for viewings in the market and we are moving on to tip number two which is curb appeal. Now curb appeal is when you step outside your house, you cross the road and you stand on the curb at the other side of the road and how does your home look from the other side of the road? How does your home look to pass or Passer buyers, passers by, you know what I mean? People walking past your home, how does it look? Does it look presentable? Does it look well maintained? Does it look well looked after? Does it look like somewhere people will walk past and go, oh, that's really nice, that looks like a really nice home? Or will they walk past and think, oh, their grass needs cut, or oh, their front door needs replaced, or oh, their garden's a mess, their bins are everywhere. What does your home look like from the outside? Because before we spoke about sense of smell and although that is super important, that's not the first thing people are actually going to notice. The first thing is they're going to notice how it looks from the outside. So think about it, you pull up to a viewing, say you are put yourself in the buyer's position, you pull up to a viewing and the first thing you see is a lovely home, home that you really want to see and you really want to love, but the garden, the grass is overgrown. There's weeds everywhere, the front fence is falling down, um, they have kids and there's toys everywhere, they're a wee bit weathered because they've been lying out, um, maybe there's bins that have been knocked over or bins that are overflowing in the front garden and it just instantly knocks it down a notch and it doesn't make it feel as homely and as welcoming, oh that word again, welcoming, welcoming, oh you know. So make sure that you the seller go outside, cut your grass, keep it well maintained. If you have to get down on your knees and pull up the weeds if you can, do so. I know it's not the most glamorous job but it's something that will really help sell your home quicker. If you've got kids, make sure all their toys are put away before potential buyers come and view and not only before they come and view the house, you know, their official viewing time. Buyers sometimes, and quite a lot of the time actually, will drive down the street to see what it's like at night, to see what it's like during the day. They'll maybe take a walk around the area. So make sure that the front of your house is well maintained at all times if possible. So kids toys, clear them out of the way once they're done playing with them. Bins, make sure they're well kept, make sure they're not overflowing, make sure that they're upright. The amount of times I've went to houses and the bins have been all over the place, across the garden. You know, keep an eye on these things because these things are so important. So make sure that your curb appeal is 10-10 and that'll instantly make those buyers feel more inclined to purchase your home. As always, thank you for watching. So stay tuned for part number three, which is choose the right agent. Have a think about that one and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.